Hey first grade friends, happy Friday to you and we are wrapping up our Friday by writing an informative paragraph about an animal of your choice. And we just saw a video all about the giant Pacific octopus. So if you want to write about the giant Pacific octopus, then you would have heard lots of facts that you can use to teach your reader about it. So you'll notice that I drew a realistic picture first. I drew my giant Pacific octopus. One of the things I learned is that it changes color of it, the color of its body to blend into its surroundings. So I made it kind of like this sandy color. And then I also want to teach my reader that it likes to eat a lot of food, like crab. So I drew my crabs. Then I went ahead and I started writing my topic sentence, that first sentence that tells my reader what I'm going to teach them about. And I wrote, I will teach you all about the giant Pacific octopus. Now, if you're not teaching about the giant Pacific octopus and you're teaching about dogs, then you would say, I will teach you all about dogs. Or if you know all about rabbits, I will teach you all about rabbits. It's up to you. I then started by writing one fact. Remember, you have to have at least two facts here. So here's my first teaching sentence. One fact is that they must eat lots of food to survive. But now I want to tell them another fact with another teaching sentence, telling them that they like to eat crabs. So I'm going to write another fact is that they like to eat crabs. And I remember hearing they can eat up to 25 crabs at a time. That's crazy, isn't it? So now I'm going to go back and start writing. I'm going to start by writing another fact is. Another. Notice my uppercase A because I started a new sentence. I know it's a new sentence because I had a period right before it. Another fact is that they like to eat crabs. That. Th at that. What diagraph has given you that th sound, friends? It makes your teeth kind of tickle, or your tongue tickle. If you said th, you are absolutely correct. Another fact is that they like, like, notice my sneaky e at the end of like, making the i say its name. Another fact is that they like to eat crabs. Cur. I know it's C-R and not K-R because I always have a C when I've got a blend. Crab, crab, crabs. Suffix S at the end. Another fact is that they like to eat crabs. So I'm done teaching my two facts. Of course you could go ahead and teach more. Like I could teach my reader they have blue blood, right? That's gross. They have three hearts. They have over 2,000 suction cups. I tried to add the little suction cups on it. Um, all over their tentacles, each of their eight tentacles. It's really up to you. You can keep going and have a field day. Just keep writing facts. But I'm going to close out my paragraph with a closing sentence. That's our kind of like our end of a narrative. Our closing sentence tells our reader, we're done teaching you. That's it. Now... You know all about the giant Pacific octopus. Giant Pacific octopus. Period at the end of my sentence. Now I've got a completed paragraph and I can read the whole thing. I will teach you all about the giant Pacific octopus. One fact is that they must eat lots of food to survive. Another fact is that they like to eat crabs. Now you know all about the giant Pacific octopus. So now, friends, it's your turn to decide which animal you want to teach us about, whether that's the giant Pacific octopus or cats or dogs or snakes or birds, whichever animal you'd like, and make sure that you include teaching sentences that tell us some facts.